coming back for another edition of the Horror Debate. I am Jeff Rowdy Jake here. He is Michael Mandy, and this week we're doing autopsies. Yeah, because some of these films are definitely dead on arrival. <laughs> The uh, Horror Fest 3, the After Dark uh, Movies to Die For. Eight films to die for, baby. And uh, we're sitting through them all again, like we do every year. That's right. This week, Autopsy. From 2008, directed by Adam Girash and starring Robert Patrick from Terminator 2. Mr. Terminator himself. Yep. Wow. So, Mike. Yeah. I can't. I can't say enough about this one. I, I mean, I try. Could go on, I could go on for an hour on this one. This okay. was good stuff. This is what we I actually expect. have had. We actually have had a review that almost went an hour. This is what I expect from the eight films to die for. Yeah. If ever there was an example of what to shoot for in these films, this is on that high watermark. Now, I did say last year that Frontiers was by far and away. The best of the last year of the eight films to die for. Even though it was pretty much a a carbon copy remake of Texas Chainsaw. I thought it was better. I I I honestly did. I I, that that film rocked my world. Okay. Okay. This one. Okay. Also rocked my world in kind of a different way. Mm -hmm. You know, Uh, this had the tongue firmly planted in the cheek a lot of the time. Yeah, this movie was a lot of fun. And I got a rise out of it, man. I mean, there was a lot of gore. Oh, you got to rise out of the lead female. She was pretty <laughs> happening, let me tell you that. But I'll tell you what. Uh, Jessica Loundis. Oh, please call the horror debate. Anyway, I'll tell you what. This was fun. It was a great ride. Tons and tons of gore yeah. and body parts and jibs. And oh, my goodness, Mike, I was in hog heaven. <laughs> And this no. wasn't even Slaughter. Yeah, Slaughter. I was about to say, Hog Heaven. That was the film Slaughter. But, yeah. Uh, no, this this was Hospital Heaven. No. Yeah. Uh, so but basically what's going on is these kids. What's these, going on, Jeff? These kids. Who are, there was five of them, right? Or yeah, six? The, this is a film that they should show the first ten minutes of in high school. Yeah. You know, senior driver's ed Red classes. Asphalt. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we had to watch all those dead teens on the <laughs> highway movies. They should show the first ten minutes of this going... Teenagers, don't go getting drunk and stupid and, right. and partying and and then driving. <laughs> so what's happening is all these kids, they're, they're all teenagers, you know, they look college age, right? Yeah, maybe, college Maybe age. early 20s, right? They're all in this car and... and After they get drunk and stoned. They're drunk off Mardi their Gras. Mardi Gras. They're driving and guess what? Accident. The cute chick drives into a tree. Actually, she drove into a person. <laughs> well, she drove into a person which then drove into a tree. Right. But, well, you know, that's all right. Yeah. But it, anyway, so they get out. They're all hysterical. Some are bleeding, whatever. Their phone's broken. He, she looks, or this guy says he's got to take a whiz, right? So he goes over to the side of the car, starts taking a whiz. And that's where they find There's the body. There's a freaking body underneath the car, and he's reaching out for dude. Mm-hmm. He's spitting blood up out of his mouth, gets the blood in dude's mouth, who's taking the whiz. So, and then it's like pandemonium ensues, right? So finally this ambulance shows up. And the two weirdest ambulance attendees I think we have ever seen yeah. pop out. Woo, 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 woo. They take the stretcher. They don't even check dude for, like, neck injuries, or back signs injuries. signs of life. They just toss him they on the gurney. They throw him on there like they're having a stretcher match with him. Mm. Throw him into the, the the ambulance and tell the others, you know, you guys are kind of busted up. You, you might want to come. come on down with us, you know. We can call a tow truck from the hospital, right? Here they go. They all jump in. Woo, 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 into the back of the ambulance. Boom, here we go to Mercy Hospital. And I still say in the lobby they should have been playing, Oh, mercy, mercy me. But that's another mm-hmm. thing. The director will do that next time. But And Robert Patrick is the uh, doctor he, in the charge. He's the main doctor, and you got this creepy and nurse. Not just main doctor. He's the only doctor. Well, this whole hospital is abandoned except for him and the crazy and nurse. And the two orderlies and, and, the, and, two the, orderlies. and the goofy nurse. I mean, she was wild, wasn't she? Yeah, Jeanette oh. Goldstein. And I tell you. I was watching this movie going, I know her. I've seen her. I know that voice. She was Vasquez in Alien 2. That's right. and, and The she, one with the red bandana. She could not stand to answer the phone without wiping that mouthpiece down, baby. Oh, she was a clean freak. Oh, my goodness. So yeah. so anyway, they're all in there. They're starting to get their care. One or two of them go upstairs, and they they have, you know, the doc's going to see them. And guess what? They're not coming back down. Yeah. And so my, uh, my cute lead actress here, she decides to go up. And she decides to find her boyfriend. And she finds a lot more in her boyfriend. Yeah. And what they do is, you know, it's the separate the teenagers from yeah. each other. And then let's yeah. do horrible torture things to them. But it's not torture porn because this movie is definitely firmly uh, uh, 
I don't want to say satire, but it, it's it's made with fun. It's like hey, it's reanimated. Cheek. Yeah, absolutely. And that works totally for this. I mean, I don't care about stupid stick in this film, Mike. Yeah. I had a blast, you know? Yeah. This was good stuff. Yep, good stuff. Talk about talk about like like the blonde, right? Who looked like Hillary Duff, by the way. <laughs> the blonde who went up Dude was mashing her skull with a freaking hammer. Yeah, Ashley Schneider. And she was still awake. Yeah. And her yeah. eyes were rolling up in the back of her head. She was fluttering, shaking. Yeah. That was disturbing, Well, Mike. because they wanted to keep them alive. But, you know, this guy was a weird perv. Right. You know? But uh, it was disturbing, though, yeah. is what I'm saying. I mean, dude yeah. was hammering her head. Mm -hmm. He basically carved out the entire back of her head. When they looked at it, you could see, like, the brain matter. And, and the stem still moving it in it. It was moving in there. It looked like a tongue coming out at you, you know? Oh, my goodness. I mean... This uh, this was a splatter fest. Mike. Yes, it was. They I, had pieces and parts everywhere. Man. Wow, dude! I Literally mean, pieces and parts. This is a film to die for now. And and they, you know, when someone calls nine one one and then they have to hang up immediately. Uh, I swear to God, five minutes later, a <laughs> cop shows up, going, "We yeah. got a nine one one." Wish call. we had that kind of service around here. I know that was faster than the real cops arrived. And was that cop Lurch or what? He was a tall looking cop. Dude, I, was I believe. Huge. I believed he was a cop. He was gonna smop the guy. You smop. He was gonna smack the guy you call Bob Kulik across the room. Yeah, Bob Kulik. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meatloaf's guitar player. Yeah, if you're not sure who that is, it's an inside musical reference, but uh, he does he does look he, he the bald with, head. He the, played with Paul Stanley. Yes, too. he did. He went on tour with him in 87. So, anyway, <laughs> now that we're all off base here, um, the, the nice part about this film is that you are never, ever bored. No. You are on a train ride from start to finish, and there's a whole lot of eye candy, a whole lot of splatter, a good story, even though as far-fetched as it was, and my... It did borrow a little bit from those typical evil hospital films yeah. like Visiting Hours yeah. or Halloween 2, but, you know, this was but all in fun. We cannot go any further in this review until I mention... Uh-oh. Until I mention Mentioned. the lumbar shot. Oh. The lumbar, what do they call it, an extraction or something? Yeah, spinal fluid spinal extraction. Spinal fluid extraction on, on the, uh, see, I didn't want her to die. I wanted to keep looking at her. <laughs> so she she laid on the table. Jessica Loundis. Did I say it again? Jessica Loundis. Oh, beautiful. Anyway, she laid down on the table. He told her to get in the fetal position, and he stuck and this is the way they do it, folks, by the way. This was not far-fetched. This is Yeah, this is like her getting an epidural. This is the way they do it. They, they, they put the needle into her spine and extracted this, like, Gatorade-looking stuff, <laughs> right, out of it, put it all into this cup, and I'm not even going to tell you what happens next. Yeah. you got to see the film to figure it out. <laughs> oh, my God, man. You're going to be like, oh, so that's why I called it Gatorade. No, but I'm telling you, yeah. that, was a dis <laughs> that was a disturbing she was in the See? Masters of Horror uh, film, directed uh, Dance of the Dead, the Masters oh, of Horror, with serious? Robert England. Yeah. Oh, put it in. Yeah, you're going to watch that put one Put it again. in. I have to see it again. Oh, my goodness. She was beautiful, yeah, Mike. Now she's on 90210. Put me on a TiVo season pass. I, I got to see this, man. <laughs> she's gorgeous. Yeah, she she kind of looks like she could be related to Liv Tyler uh, well, or Liv Tyler. A little bit. A li Liv. <laughs> Live. Uh, I'm giving yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She. Yeah. We still haven't proven which well, one it is. I, I don't need to prove it. I already know what it is. But we, uh, we got to find an interview with her on like yeah. YouTube or something where yeah. she's like on Oprah or someone says her name to her face. Liv is a, is a beautiful girl. I just always thought when she was younger she was kind of awkward. You know, she did. She almost didn't seem like she fit in her own body somehow. But uh, now I am not going to make comments about. <laughs> But now, I mean, yeah, I mean, she's getting older. She's looking real good. But this girl, I, she came out of nowhere. I didn't even, you know, I didn't make the connection she was in Dance of the Dead. I've seen and, that. And, yeah, we saw that a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, so awesome, man. I want to see her in more stuff and, so. le and less stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> so what a, What do you think, Mike? I, mean, I this, like this film. This thing this was a was, lot of fun. It, but dare I say it, because I heard the video earlier, balls to the wall the entire time, start to finish, it earns the highest mark ever for an eight films to die for. Yeah, this film was brutal. This film delivered what it promised. That's this is a five-star film, and it's not because it's the greatest film, because I know you're going to say it. You think this is the greatest film ever committed to celluloid, and I'm going to say no, but for an eight film to die for to really do this and to really grab us and keep our attention, 
You know what I mean? And 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 be as brutal and as nasty as it was, and the performances of the young people being as believable as they were. What about the guy taking the freaking pill, man? Did that guy <laughs> crack you up or what? Yeah. What, what busted me up is when they're standing in the hallway, and and he's got her confined. You know, and he's about to do some damage on her. And this fool comes walking out of a door and just kind of looks nonchalantly at her as he's walking by going, Oh my, you know, I'm sitting there going, this guy cracks me up. He has no fear in his eyes whatsoever because he's so freaking high yeah. off this pill. He just keeps walking and then finally they chase him down. You know, it cracked me up. That yeah. guy did a good job. Kind of looked like Johnny Wahlberg, by the way. You know, just, just, just talking. Anyway, um, five stars. Absolutely a riot. This is the high water mark for the eight films to die for. A uh, couple little things were a little cheesy here and there, but I'm sure that was because of a very limited budget yeah. that this thing had. So I'm I'm digging it. And it was Adam Girash's first directorial yeah, yeah. feature. I think he got the right folks in this, man. I mean, mm -hmm. it, the, the the orderlies were sufficiently creepy. You know, I've seen even a, a few little touches, like some of the the, the one creepy dude's uh, tattoos. Yeah, some yeah. of those tattoos. Were and you've like, seen that guy in a million other films. You just never get to place him. You know right. what I mean? I mean, I've seen him in other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, like in the gangster kind of stuff. You know, because of course the tats fit. But uh, <laughs> you know what, Mike? I mean, I don't even have a complaint, man. I I I loved it. I, I watched it. I've watched it twice now, and I just I, I could watch it again. Yeah. All because of Emily. <laughs> All because of Emily. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So uh, you're giving it a five? Yep. I think this is a great film. We had a lot of fun doing it. But like I said, there were a few little things. I don't know if I'll be, you know, screaming, oh, this was, you know, something. Odd. But this was a lot of fun. It's a definite four-star film. Yeah, it's, it's nothing that you're going to say, oh, man, this is the best horror movie ever made. People but will not be studying this film in ten years. No, but it's fun. But it's and it's fun. in your face. And boy, is it gory. Yeah. Did I mention Emily? Yes, so th did. Jessica. This is, yeah. this is happening. Yep. I, yeah, absolutely. See this. If you're going to see one of the eight films to die for so far, this is the high water and, mark. And this is the one to have fun with, too. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'm Michael Mandy. He's Rowdy Jeff. We'll talk to you next week at the Horror Debate. <laughs>